Good morning, students. This is the lesson of class eight for the subject of geography topic humans as a resource, which is covered in chapter thirteen. Human resources, starting on. Page number one fifty of your textbook, and is being submitted to you on eighteenth of January two thousand and twenty one. Humans as a resource. with his intelligence and ability to work man himself is a resource the nature and degree to use all other resources depend on his ability man through his knowledge intellect and skill transforms natural objects and resources into valuable assets the level of education scientific technological achievements and ideological commitments make man more resourceful many countries in spite of being poor in natural resources have been able to exhibit a remarkably high level of economic development only because they are rich in human resources hence it is the skill and persistent efforts of men that have raised countries like japan switzerland and taiwan to their present level of development therefore almost all countries of the world now give importance to raising the standard of human resource through various development plans and programs human resources can be defined as the resource that resides in the knowledge skills and motivation of people the term human resource was first coined in 1960s when value of labor relations began to gather attention and when notions such as motivation organizational behavior and selection assessments began to take shape individual human beings could be further developed by providing education health services and nutrition they can then be more useful to society than illiterate and untrained people indian population is about 1/5 of total 
world population in spite of being overpopulated country the greatest resource of our country is huge reserves of manpower although they are a neglected lot and receive very little care and attention they are more valuable than soils minerals forests and other natural resources through their intellect and skill hence our country's rich resources are its people now students before going any further in the topic let me ask you a few question and then you may pause the audio for 3 minutes to write the answers fill in the blanks first the level of dash scientific technological achievements and dash make man more resourceful number 2 the term human resource was first coined in dash year third indian population is about dash of total world population now children let us discuss the answers answer number 1 education and ideological commitments answer number 2 1960s and answer number 3 1/5 now let us continue the topic and discuss about population distribution students the way in which people are spread across the earth surface is known as the pattern of population distribution there are certain physical and cultural factors that affect distribution of population in a country so the first is physical factor the physical environment plays a vital role in determining distribution of population these are first topography or landform people prefer to live on flat plains and gentle slopes because such areas are favorable for production of crops and to build roads and industries whereas the mountainous and hilly areas hinder the development of transport network and hence do not favor agriculture and industrial development the gangetic plains are most densely populated areas the second factor is climate an extreme climate such as very hot or cold deserts are uncomfortable for human habitation therefore plains are highly populated but 
mountainous areas are least populated. The third factor is soil. Fertile soils are important for agriculture and allied activities. So areas with fertile loamy soil have more population. The fourth factor is availability of water. People prefer to live in areas where fresh water is easily available as water is used in many activities. It is because of that river valleys are densely populated. The second type of factor is the non-physical factors. Under this, the first is minerals. Areas with rich mineral deposits attract industries. Mining and industrial activities generate employment. So, skilled and semi-skilled workers move to these areas. The second non-physical factor is urbanization. Cities offer better employment opportunities, education and medical facilities, good civic amenities and attraction of city life draw people to cities results in rural to urban migration. Some places attract more people because they have religious or cultural significance. For example, Varanasi and Prayagraj. The next non-physical factor is government incentives. Many a time, government offers incentives to people to live in sparsely populated area or move away from overcrowded places. So now children, Again, this is the question time. I'll ask you a few questions after which you can pause the lesson for five minutes. So your questions are, question number one, define human resources. Question number two, what does population distribution pattern? Third, People prefer to live on dash and gentle slopes. So this is a fill in the blank. Fourth one is again a fill in the blank. Dash is important for agriculture and allied activities. Number five, good civic amenities and dash draw people to the cities fill in the blank now children let us discuss the answers of the above questions so answer number one is human resources can be defined as the resource that resides in knowledge, skills, and motivation of people. Answer number two, the way in which people are spread across the earth's surface is known as the pattern of population distribution. Answer number three, flat plains, 
Answer number 4. Fertile soil. Answer number 5. Attraction of city life. I hope you all have understood the topic very well. So, you all are required to read chapter 13 at least twice and write down the glossary terms given on page number 157 of your textbook and learn them. With this, I conclude this interactive session. Thank you.